All right, guys. Sorry for those of you guys who are in chat for the a long start. Real life just comes up and you got to deal with it sometimes. But uh, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Banishers. Um, excited to get into this. We got a lot of side content, haunts and things like that, that we got we to gotta dig into today. Uh, we went ahead. We did a bit of exploration last episode. Uh, we were down on here. We did a couple haunts, and then we kind of explored the map on the south side here. But today we're gonna be heading back to the uh, the settlement here in, uh, with the Haros, and we're gonna be working with all these people here. So the one popped up over here near this barn here. I don't know what that is, uh, but I wanted to start with this one. Uh, missing feathers. We're gonna drop off these feathers, and then I'm gonna come over here. We'll see what this mission is, and then we'll do the actual haunts. We'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much. As you guys know, I've been loving this game. It, it's it's one of my faves. One of my faves. But how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a good day. And uh, again, I'm, I am sorry for the uh, the long wait. I know I know you guys are probably what the hell is going on? We yeah, shit came up that we. Uh, Shit, life does not care about stream times, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it went from being my, my normal late to, oh man, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. But everything's all good. It's all taken care of, and here we are. All right, so uh, let me see here. Yeah, we got to go drop off these feathers for Caleb and his, uh, his girl's book. Caleb! Where the hell is he? Oh, he might be out back. Oh, there he is. Yeah, sometimes hey, they, they're not static NPCs what whatsoever. You, Mr. <laughs> Here. A complete compendium of the birds of New Eden by Ruth Watson. It's all there. Her work is done. I... I owe you so much. Thank you. From the first to the last, thank you. Hey, no problem, brother. No problem. I'll leave you in peace, Mr. Watson. There's no peace for the wicked, Mr. Muckwraith. You and I both know that. Collecting feathers for a grieving Puritan. What a weird day. I don't know if he deserved it, but let's say we did it for Ruth. Okay, so we got a mission down here. We'll get this one marked. It's over at this farm. No clue what the hell this... Now, this farm was really, really haunted, so... I don't know what to expect down here. Whoa! No motions, just drop 20 gifted members on the channel. Seriously, thank you so much for that. Everybody who sees one of those memberships, welcome to the family. That is so kind of you, man. You guys have been going absolutely ham with all these gifted over the past like week, man. I, I literally can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, thank you so much for that, dude. Okay. Yeah, so this was... No, this is the difference. No, we came up here for another mission. Um, who was up here? Oh, I think we came here looking for Lammy. The enemy within. Let's see what this is about. Oh, her again? Did she not get better, chat? So we did her haunting last episode. God damn, scared the shit out of me. Uh, we did her haunting last episode, and um, we banished her bad side, or her ghost side. But let's see if she feels any better. And Spartans, holy crap, again coming and dropping another five gifted, man. Thank you, Spartans. How are you doing today? Goody Perkins. Mr. McRae. See if she feels better. 
How did you recover your memory? You got your memory back. How did that happen? It was as though a wave washed through me. The memories were carried in the foam, then left behind like flotsam. I'm better. I'm yet far from whole. There is a... a terrible sadness in me. A tide of melancholy. I fear... I fear that it shall rise, and I shall not know what to do, but drown. Damn. You must also have happy memories. Oh, I do. I remember his pride when he bought the Kronos. It took all we had, but it was worth it to see his eyes shine so. Richard was a simple man. <laughs> Better with fish than people. <laughs> but he worked hard. He earned that boat, and he was its captain. But a sailor's wife does not live easy. I remember the fear when he went to sea. I remember the dread. I'd till our plot by day, and of an evening, stand at the cliff, watching for his return. You were close, you and he. We were. The only man I ever loved. He was... thoughtful. He knew I worried. He'd be sure to make port before sundown. Her hatred in the Echo. It has to be tied to the loss of her husband. What did you do when he didn't come home? I had a feeling. I ignored it. Buried it. But my throat was tight. Richard swore to return. I clung to his oath. But the Cronus returned without its captain. Ghost ship. I lost a part of me to the sea that day. I'm sorry. And I thank you for sharing. Ma'am. Yeah. How are we feeling, Goody Perkins? I'm feeling guilty. What about you? I hope you're sleeping, for I am not. Worry for the future. Worry for the past. But I take solace in my memories of Richard. How may I help? I so miss the time when Richard and I used to walk along the beach. There was a cave. I have never ventured into it. Richard used to spin me yarns about this mysterious place. Tall tales from the sea. I did love them so. And I'm sure at least some were true. In one tale, the captain hid his treasure in a hiding place. So that on the day he stepped ashore for good, he would make his wife the finest gift. I could hear it in his voice. This tale was true. What treasure would a fisherman hide upon the beach? A promise. A wish. In the form of a rosary of pearl. I'll bid you good day, Goody Perkins. May God guide you, Mr. McGrath. Okay, so... Let's see on the map where... Okay, so that's to the north here. Uh, we gotta get past this Creepin' Ivy anyways. But yeah, so we go up here. We haven't been to this part of the map yet. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this game. It's so it's so good. Even like these little side quests have such good dialogue, so much emotion and stuff like that. And, and it's 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 just so good. It, you know, I I it makes it so that you it feels like you wanna do all of the missions or all of the all of the quests, 
a lot of games you can kind of ignore some of the side quests because they're not even i would i look at there's a big difference between like side quests and like activities and it seems like a lot of these bigger games they have quest lines but then the side content is kind of just like activities th like filler stuff there's really no story tied to it there's no dialogue so it's like oh here go here do this go here do that you know what i mean but there's a couple games that do it very well like the witcher does it very well this game does it very well destroy them um there's tons of games that really really have fleshed out side content that you really can't differentiate from like main story missions some of the story side missions in some of these games can be so good i would say like you know odyssey had some side quest lines that were better than some of the main quest lines you know what i mean all right let me see so we got one route going up top there and one route i think coming around the side here right yeah. You can kind of see it right there, I think. Can't see it from the side. And then there was one up there. So I wonder if I'll be able to see all three from here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to see all three of them from this angle here. All right, we got it. Sharpshooter. There it is. Use the practice. Yakuza, uh, Yakuza's viewership was really, really bad. Um, and, you know, we just had a lot of new games and stuff like that coming out, so it kind of got... I, I do plan on playing more of it, though, because uh, I'm enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, live stream-wise, I don't know if I'm going to live stream it. I might just make it into videos. But I barely had ha any time to even, like, record my State of Decay guide that I'm working on. I barely even had time for that. I just got an episode of that recorded this morning. Um... But I'm hoping that I can, uh, I can get my time and all that shit squared away. Uh, do I have the DLC for this game? I, I didn't even know there was DLC. Didn't it just come out? Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's up this way. Let's see what's over here really quick. So we got this passage over here. This is unmarked. Oh, I can't even get through this way. Hmm.
I think that might be uh, the other side of one of those void, uh, the void things where you go in through one side. I think that might be an exit. Okay, so we're gonna hit this cave first for the mission. He is. Pearls. Here, I found something. No rosary. No rosary. That is frustrating. She'll be disappointed. It might have distracted her from the misery. Hmm. Damn, Chad, we don't want to go back to her with bad news. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, Kamari, I appreciate that. I don't know if I'm, I would I'd say I, I wouldn't classify myself as interesting. Unless you mean as in interesting as like the weird interesting. I, 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 yeah, you, you're probably right. I don't see anything hidden. Oh, we just played Sons of the Forest yesterday, so it'll be another... Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll do another episode. Hmm. Something's concealed. Where, though? There it is. Uh, Rainco, no, I wouldn't say this is a Souls-like at all. This plays more like a God of War, like the newer God of War games. Um, but, like, mixed with, like, The Witcher. It, yeah, it's it's definitely not a Souls-like. I mean, some of the fights, I guess you could say, like, the boss fights and shit, but... Uh, no, this is very, very story-driven. Very story-driven. And, and the, there's choices in this game that actually matter. Like, they changed the game up quite significantly. I think people were saying there's quite a few different endings to this game. Um, there's a lot of different endings to quest lines, too. Like, there's multiple different ways quests can go, depending on choices you make. Constance. Nice name for the boat. Let me see. So what's over this way? Yeah, we'll check this first before heading up top there. Check that on our way back. Thought we could pull that one out the way, but it's not. Uh, some linen. Oh, 
Well, hold on. Maybe we can get up here. Oh, we gotta push it. Okay, yeah, we push it down this way. Too bad Governor Haskell's no longer with us. That we have been treated very disrespectfully in your town. You came here because I was planning to establish a new center of trade. Location seems ideal. New town, hopefully. How disappointed we were. Uh, she bring disgrace upon your time. You should run her out for it. Who? There was a dog. There was dog shit found in the food we bought, sir. Dog shit. We shall never trade a new Eden again. Mrs. Walcott. Who is that, chat? Who's Mrs. Walcott? Which one is she? Bennett Law. Ishmael's master and the man who killed his wife. Law docked here. Ishmael must have been devastated. <laughs> I bet it was Phoebe who put dog shite in his food. Actual dog shit. Okay. Nobody's got this mine here. No, we don't. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Go up through the top here. This one's locked too. Perhaps there's a key. Hmm. The only other place we haven't been in this area that could potentially hold the key is up here. Be a nest. Ready and waiting. Yep, got a nest here. Hopefully, I'm not too under leveled for this one. We, we, we. For the first time, ran into a nest lap last episode. I could not beat. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Unveil yourself. Did we miss a few? Watch out! Spectre possession! This isn't over yet! Oh, 
away with you. That was a pretty easy one. Uh, they were, the reason why that was so easy is because the enemies take more damage at full health. And I have a couple of buffs that allow me to do more damage to enemies while they're at full health. And so we were just literally one shot in all those dudes. <laughs> A macro on this game shits on all souls games dudes yeah this shit is way better than any souls game i've played story-wise souls games don't really have stories they're more lore based yeah we didn't get a key right pretty sure we didn't get a key there store key The combat in this game is fun as hell. Yeah, I don't, we didn't get a key, guys. So where the hell is the key to this place? We're gonna have to keep our eyes open. So now we gotta go hurt this old lady's feeling. <laughs> oh, dude, we saved her just to kill her, man. I'm gonna blame it all on chat. No, yeah, lore-based stories aren't bad. You know, like Elden Ring and stuff like that. Like it had, a, it had a, like a story that you followed, you know what I mean? And a lot of this stuff. But there's, like, no dialogue, no nothing. Like, it's not the same, you know what I mean? But it is fun, like, kind of trying to piece those games together. Um, but, yeah, definitely, when it comes to, like, a story, I, I would say the Soul, the Soul game. Souls games, for me, I, I enjoy because the combat systems in them are usually pretty fun. The boss fights are you know, try to try to figure them out. It's a sense of accomplishment and it feels good. But yeah, definitely not a whole lot of uh, story. You know, it's not what keeps me going in those games by any means. I don't see her essence. She's not home. Damn it. I don't know where she could be. Her husband's grave, perhaps. I mean, where the hell is her husband's grave? Wasn't it in the back? On that hill? Overlooking the water? No, she's not there either. The rosary. She had it all along. Why did she lie about it? I have a bad feeling about this. Like, very bad. Awful, in fact. To the ship. And hurry. 
No, she's not gonna do it, chat. We we were supposed to stop her from doing it. The curse, man, it's strong. I really thought I did a good thing. I really thought I saved this fucking lady. Go back for it. Sometimes I don't feel like sitting through dialogue. See, for me, if games don't have dialogue, I have a hard time staying interested in them. Um, I feel like gameplay is super important, you know, fun and all that, but... I need something to carry that gameplay and make it make sense to me, make me like more interested in it. Because good gameplay is it, it is what it is, you know what I mean. But after a while, it just becomes mindless and fun, and then it just becomes chaotic and repetitive and boring. And those that that's the stages it goes for me, and then I'm over it. I need I need some kind of story to tie it all together to keep me interested. Because if not, I lose interest in those storyless games so fast. Now, granted, it could have the best combat system in the fucking world, but if there's no story for me to use that combat system in, yeah, I, I don't care. Oh, that's the... Like the Yorkshire pudding. Crystal made a Yorkshire pudding, guys. Is this your plate or mine? Yours. Oh. It looks like Thanksgiving. It's got some mashed potatoes, gravy, chicken with beans. Machine data. I don't know what a Yorkshire pudding is. That shit doesn't look like pudding at all. What's up, baby? I almost drank your whole thing. There's no water in the so you drank mine? Was it good? Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, I only have a little bit left. Well, you I get a big have... belly, you better be careful. <laughs> so is it brown? I don't know. I mean, those of you guys who know Yorkshire puddings, like, this is this is what it looks like. There's like nothing inside of it though. It's like hollow, kind of like. I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. Get him savory. Oh no, please don't. Okay, she's not hanging in chat. She, we're good. We still got time. No, she. God damn it. So what was it all for, chat? We're too late. Damn it. Maybe we were always too late. Maybe her destiny was already written. Maybe it can't be changed. The fuck, chat? Yeah, I mean, I got I got mashed potatoes and gravy and chicken that I could stuff in it. The spot has to be close. So we went through all that work, chat, to save her, and she still just killed herself, anyways. It was fucking wild, dude. I wonder if she's gonna come back again, or if because we banished her ghost. I know, I know, that she was cursed to like live this misery over and over and over again. She's supposed to like die like every day. But that's that's insanity, man. All right, so let's head back to town. Um, Saints and sinners. 
We'll do Saints and Sinners just because that's the name of the Walking Dead VR game, and that's awesome. Say, man, you think you're, you think you're helping someone, dude. Her ghost tried to tell us, like, listen, she's just going to do it again. She's just going to do it again. And I was just like, nah, we, we're going to save her. She'll be fine. And she did it again. So let's have to investigate the noise. Got a lot of spectral here. So, Chad, I got a question. So, I have no fucking clue. Okay? Terrible with history. But when um, England colonized the Americas, you know, and had the initial colony set up, Canada was France. Did France come over? Like, when did Canada become a thing? Was that way after England settled the colonies or was it before? Like, so this says fucking 1690. And Quebec was already a thing. I don't know when England settled the colonies. Hmm? France. That's what I'm saying. When did they do it though? Before or after? Canada was a bit later. Yeah, so it says that here, England and France fought over Quebec, though. The New England Primer. Looks new. Looks local. Sounds like poor little Tink Tinks upstairs. Let's go see what... This is locked from the other side. Angel, heaven sent. <clears throat> I'm busy. Well, this dude. What do you want? God lights the firmament of the heavens to divide day from night. There are no more nights. There are no more good days. Uh, I don't know. The weather's improved. It's almost nice. But the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor. All right. What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. God has forsaken us. The new boy governor is a witch. Lammy? A witch? Why would you think that? I seen him. I seen him do his rituals. I seen him do the devil's work. Ugh, what has Lammy done now? Come on, dude. Not landing. Heretics walk the harrows. You for one. The Haskell boy for another. Oh, why? He wishes to better his father, which is neither difficult nor ignoble. 
But to do it, he's tempted by the evil one. How goes it since Governor Haskell passed? It has been a trial, fair and true. But God has a plan. More will be revealed, sir. In time, a new governor shall rise. A teacher, perhaps. Aye, well, good luck with that. You're a teacher. You know the young people here. Will Lammy Haskell make a go of being governor? Lamentation, for we must call him by his name, is a child. We should be governed by a man. Maybe he'll surprise you. Pa. Takes a lot of work to stay this miserable. <laughs> I don't know, there's something off about this dude in my opinion. the Harrows, then? The idiots dismantled our meeting house and will build a pontoon. If they wish to leave, they cannot leave soon enough. If I must rebuild the meeting house alone, I'll do it. For the glory of God, of course. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights. And then, one day, she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. I'm sorry you lost your sister. And I'm glad you got her back. Tell me about her. Do you believe in miracles, Mr. McGrath? No. I believe in the supernatural, and I believe in the extraordinary, so... Aye, I believe in miracles. I don't believe in angels, though. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body. But she is still there. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. So I don't, I don't think this dude's gonna be happy, chat, if we banish his sister, man. Especially because he seems to be... ...happy with the fact that she's there. She was even rejected. These people don't understand anything here. A new life awaits us. The people of the small town seem more godly than our former neighbors. I'm sure that Marcy will be listened to. What was she preaching? That nobody wanted to listen. If Hugh puts his faith in his sister's ghost, he's a fool. He's looking to his faith to give him answers. But he's looking in the wrong place. Okay, so let me see. Where, the mill was all the way over here, I believe, right? Yeah, so I could fast travel to the mill house. G-Man with the membership, welcome to the family. I appreciate it. So we, I wanted to see real quick. On this armor, we're missing fur, right? Yep, fur and elite gems. Um, okay. Oh, 
Oh, I never did come down this way, did I? No, I did. I explored down. Okay, I was like, really? Hold on, let me see. What the hell is that? Yeah, we explored this whole pathway here, so... We'll actually fast travel over to the ship instead of cutting all the way down. See, uh, exploration made it easier for us to travel around for these missions. Now we can kind of just fast travel. <clears throat> no motions dropping another five gifted. Seriously, man, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all the memberships. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the family. And make sure you guys get those hearts in the chat. Nah, we just did Suns last night. Yeah, we just did Suns of the Forest last night. Oh, siblings. Feeling guilty about Ayomi Day and Temi. On principle, I refuse to feel guilty. Yes, I feel guilty. Doesn't this ocean air just make you want to sail the open seas? I've always wondered where your love of boats came from. I definitely was a pirate in a previous life. Whose clothes are these? Okay, hold on. The veil here is as thin as in the cave where you found me. The same lonely feeling presses down. Is this that cave that I couldn't beat the nest in? Yeah, it is. There was a whole backside of this cave. I was like, man, this place is huge. But there was nothing really back there. Now it makes sense. It's, it's for the mission. Something's written here. I believe it's from Marcy. Remember we were seeing all those words on the wall? Yep. I don't know if these are comforting or terrifying. I go with creepy. Don't leave me. Where are you, Hugh? Please return to me. She sounded to sound a little obsessed. Evil won't take over your faith. Arise into thy resting place. We don't have the same definition of a resting place. Voices from the dead ripple here. Through me, your faith will be restored. Your will begin in the darkness. Your will is a beacon in the darkness. Let's see what this says. I've brought stew. Tis your favorite. Bread and water too. Oh, it smells so very good. Thank you. I'm sad to disappoint, but I am fasting. As did our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Truly, you and he walk the same path. I'm so very proud of you. Hugh Batch not let his sister starve herself. He's convinced that she was chosen by God. Does she believe it too? Let's look for Marcy. She can't have gone far.
I this is old. It must predate the bachelors. Early settlers? Natives. Okay, so we got one there, one there, and one there. And where's the hub? There's the heart. So there's one there, one there, and then there was the one up top, up there. I think I should be able to see all three of them from here. Nope. Got to do it from up top here, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe up top. Mm. Ah, damn it. Ooh, that was close. Charles, how have you been? Holy crap, thank you for the five gifted. It's good to see you. That was close. That was close. So we're definitely going to have that guy at least right there go live as soon as I open this. Charles with the re-up on the veteran survivor membership, man. Thank you so much, dude. Under witchstones from that. Yeah, as soon as you unlock more abilities in this game, the combat really, really gets expands. Because you know, when I first started, I was like, "Oh, the combat's kind of basic." Because literally, all you can do is swing your sword and block and, and dodge. That's literally it. There's and uh, as you go through, you you know, you get the gun, you get um. All the different ghost powers, the different combos and stuff like that really, really gets good. It's fun. I, I enjoy the combat a lot in this game. It's not overly complex, and then it's not like stupid, stupid simple too. Like you can combo a bunch of things, a bunch of different ways you can build your character depending on what you, like if you really like the gun, you can make the gun really, really strong. And I like how they did the traits too. At any time you could just switch up your build. 
Uh, no cost, no anything. Just click, click, click. Just switch it up. Yeah, my gun is pretty strong. I don't use it a whole lot, but I did. I, I do have a pretty decent gun. We got teleport across up up top there. <clears throat> Charles, no way, dude! Just dropped another five gifted, man. It's so kind, of you, dude. I really hope you're having a good day today, dude. I played Hellblade. Yeah, we played the first one. We're actually looking for, to, for I'm looking forward to the second one. Immortality. With forbidden knowledge, few chapters speak of resurrection. I wonder if it's that same book that um Lammy got his hands on. Who died many years ago, came back as a ghost for a few minutes. Ethel seemed to have a real gift for this kind of occult stuff. People playing with shit like that, man. Is there a cave in New Eden that doesn't have occultists in it? They were looking for the devil. Marcy was looking for God. And now an angel has taken up residence. We need more people for her ritual, and Anton suggests we tell our neighbors about the book to avoid any con. con Okay, we decided to initiate Jack. Yeah, so a demonologist, being demonologist. Yeah, Hellblade, that Rick, game was a mind come. trip, man. I found something. Blood. Blood. Marcy's knife. A rusty knife. It's blood stained with Marcy's blood. This is her, uh... This is her tie. A bloody knife in a dingy cave. Always a pleasure. That has something to tell us. Oh, it's an echo. Never mind. I just try to summon her. It's an echo. You losing your edge? R relax. Toki me indrasta, skal nam falas. Oh Lord, please help me. I'm scared. I can't do this alone. Cut it down. Cut it, down. Cut it Cut deep. deep. Well do Take I know it. Take my hands. It's your Take my hands and mark them so your flock may see. So they will no longer doubt you. Do it, Marcus. Do it, my darling. Grant me the strength to do my duty. Your blood is the blood of everlasting. 
I will speak your sainted words. They will listen and believe. She cut herself. Where did the whispers come from? Was she haunted? Maybe she was under the influence of a malignant spirit. There's a trail of blood. Let's follow it. Either that or she was schizophrenic. Damn, there she is. You tell me the brother, well, obviously the brother can't traverse the canyon like we did. She so said they could never find her body, and there she is. So I wonder if these demonologists had some, some type of spirit in this cave, and then that spirit got to her. Poor thing. How long has she been lying here, forgotten? And how is she gone unnoticed? Perhaps the path was already blocked. I can feel her presence. You have her tie. Summon her. Yeah. Is this game good? If you like story games, man, a uh, game with a great story, this... Probably this is literally one of the best games I've played in the year. Hands down. He can foolish. This is probably literally my favorite game I've played in the, the past year. I thank you for your blessing. Does she really think she's an angel? This game, in my opinion, is a 10. Oh yeah, it's hands down, it's it's just phenomenal. I, I love it. Shits on every game I've played in, oh, like, I'd say probably the last year. Strange cape during the. He claimed the strange atmosphere of this place almost suffocated him. This cave is a gift. Ethel immediately felt the potential of this place. First failure. Just notice our last ritual left a little strange cracks in the walls. So I think their ritual made this place. They 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 made the veil thin themselves. Fucking playing around. Let's see what she has to say. Yeah, she's definitely just a straight up ghost. She ain't no angel chat. Good day to you, Miss Bachelor. My child, you may call me Marcy, for I am the angel Marcy, sent to guide and protect. Are you an angel too? I see your man with you. Were you sent to guide and protect him, to be his light in the darkness? He should be so lucky. I'm Antea Duarte, and I'm no angel. This is Red McGrave. We're banishers. I see sadness in you, Antea Duarte. Sadness and goodwill and not a shred of evil. Nice of you to say, but I have my moments. You should listen to me when I say nice things about you. Because they're true. God is never wrong. You see, God 
speaks to me. In visions, he reveals his light. What would you ask him? What would you ask the Lord? Ask, and I will answer. You're just a ghost, lady. Tell me more about these visions. What do you see in them? He bade me follow his path, to suffer for those I love, as his son did before me. I agreed, of course. Do you see God? Not exactly. I see a man of God betrayed by his own, just as the son of our Lord was betrayed by Judas's kiss. My visions are warnings. New Eden is sinking. What is this place? It's a blessing, isn't it? Our Lord guided you here, just as he did for me. Now do we know who was God? Don't you feel it? His warmth, his goodness, his no. light. It's him. Why, who else could it be? God called me to this blessed place that he, through me, may redeem it. This, my child, is what it means to be an angel. I notice you have the mark of the Lord. Your stigmata. How did you get them? He gave them to me. He came to me, took my hands in his, bathed me in his divine light and granted me his blessing. What happened to you, Marcy? What happened? I opened my heart and let in the light. And do you know, it had always been there. You starved yourself. You refused your brother's food. Is that what killed you? God gave me a duty. I should sacrifice my body, as did his son. Yeah, she was definitely that my haunted, people dude. may have forgiveness. I must carry the light to unbelievers, so that with it in their hearts, they may be saved by the light of the Lord. You sacrificed your body for the salvation of others. I'm sorry. I don't know how that works. Our people are plagued by evil. Darkness grips them. I've noticed. In the turmoil of my dreams, I'd watch them writhe and burn in endless flaming turmoil. I knew not what it meant, but you kindly helped me understand. In revealing to me the horror lurking in the shadows, God was showing me the goodness waiting in the light. My suffering lights the way to salvation. People are still suffering, We're gonna though. We're going to have to talk to Hugh about this, aren't we? Here, let me find out, chat. Let me find out Hugh had anything to do with her killing herself. Dude, I'm going to sacrifice his ass, man. We must leave you. God goes with you, my child. Whether you know it or not. Wait. I feel something. Someone. My brother. I'm here. Hugh. Oh, so Hugh's here. Guy's an idiot, man. Doesn't know a ghost when he sees one. I mean, she did come floating down from the ceiling, kind of angelic. I ain't gonna lie, chap. But... <laughs> Mr. McRae, can you see her now? Is she not magnificent? Is she not a blessing from the Lord High God Himself? She's just a ghost, dude. Charles, no way, dude. Seriously just dropped yet again another five gifted, man. Hey, for those of you guys 
who received any of these gifted memberships today, welcome to the family. I don't want to see too much of you because I'm so Hey, Charles, I get it, dude. I get it, man. Yeah. Definitely go enjoy the gameplay yourself, you know, before you, you get any spoilers here, man. Because, yeah, there's, the story is just so good. I definitely understand. What are you doing here? I'll justify neither my comings nor my goings. You might have to, school teacher. I know you followed me. No need to deny it, just tell me why. I would go to the cave, but the devil's agents had blocked the way. I hoped the Banisher would lift their spells. Though I confess I feared you'd make it worse. Your own sister starved. How could you allow it? Would you have me oppose the will of the Lord my God? No. Never. I know it pained him to see me suffer, but my suffering was the path to my sainthood. Marcy had visions. She heard voices. Did you know this? Of course I knew. They scared her. God sent a trial to test me, but he also sent me a guide. My brother, sir. Did you not talk to Reverend Davenport? Or Haskell, maybe? Why would I do such a thing when the Bible is clear? In visions, God reveals himself to the chosen few. My sister is one of them. I'd known all my life that Marcy was special. Here was the Lord's own proof. <laughs> you got things wrong, dude. You seem very sure of yourself, sir. But I suspect you've gotten things wrong. No. You do not understand. Now could you? But this is my destiny. My brother helped me to fulfill it. My sister was chosen by God. A banisher could not understand. A heretic could never understand. Let's get this over with. Wait, what? This is gonna have there's gonna be backlash here, chat. I didn't even have a chance to explain anything to him. Not that he would listen. We'll just, we'll send her to heaven, man. But he's going to be pissed. He's going to be pissed if we get rid of her. We gotta, we gotta get rid of her though, man. I don't want to banish her. Like she doesn't deserve that. We'll send her. We'll send her. Marcy Bachelor, dearest angel, your holy work is done. God has forgiven your people. He did. They are saved in His eyes and His heart. Not yet, but they will. You see, the Lord heard your prayers and sent us to lift the curse. Isn't that good news? Good news indeed. The best news. Oh Lord, for your blessing, it is right to give you thanks and also praise. And you, sister, I thank you too. You're welcome. Off you go. Salvation. Salvation and an end to suffering. It is done, my brother. You were right. I'll see you soon. I'll wait for you at his right hand. There is nothing left for you here.
<laughs> what have you done? You've doomed us. You've damned us all. I knew it. I knew he was going to be pissed, man. I had a feeling he wasn't going to be You're happy with right. that. Who would memory? Your sisters. Aoife, mostly. If I'd had a big brother, I'd have liked him to have been like you. I haven't... I haven't visited her grave in a very long time. Perhaps, once this is over, it shall be time. Sounds like a good place to stop. Take stock. Oh, I'm knocked up. I'll, I'll be releasing a State of Decay video tomorrow. Yeah, I don't do streams of State of Decay. Um, right now, all, all the only State of Decay. Whoa! The only content I have for State of Decay on the channel right now is uh, the guide video I'm doing. Piss off! Good shot. But uh, I recorded an episode today. I'm, I'm planning on uh, airing it tomorrow. Did get another ghost ability. So I wonder if I get. Do I get these every time I finish a haunt? Or do I get these every time you ascend somebody? Oh yeah, you get these after finishing haunting cases. Okay, track it. Mm, so this one is Banish Outburst. This one was defeating an enemy with a uh, manifestation. Stirs 7% of health. Let's see how this ability works. <clears throat> it was that or I was going to reduce the cooldown on Outburst, but... Alright, so we got to return to Lemmy. Let him know what the hell's going on. When did the Madden videos come? You know what? You know what's so funny, Nick? Is, um... I was thinking of playing some, uh, uh NHL. <laughs> NHL 24. Some people were putting me on it. We've done some UFC on the channel, too. Uh, but I don't think I played it. I, I, shit, I couldn't tell you last time I ever played a football game. But yeah, I did want to, I was good. I was thinking about trying some NHL 24 and, uh. If, if, if we can get a good 2K, I would like that, too. Good day to you both. I trust you bring better news. We helped where we could. Thank you. Truly. Here's to better days. Well, speaking of that, or not as the case may be, my speech is almost done. And by done, I mean written. I need an ending. A high note on which to finish. I was thinking of talking about you. Would you permit it? Hmm. <laughs> 
People don't always trust banishers. You can speak of patience, of acceptance, of humility before the Lord. This comes to you so easily. We are always so eloquent. Well, I've led men to war, and fearful men need words of courage. Well put. I shall take it as inspiration as I return to my writing. With the added spice of your profound wisdom, I believe this speech will help restore the company to peace and temperance. Doubt it. We should go. Be careful, Lammy. Please. I probably should. How many of you guys have a feeling that Lamentation is going to get assassinated? <laughs> oh, I, I, I got this feeling he's going to get assassinated, dude. We also had him. Uh, yep, there was. Yep, okay. So let's see what this haunting is here in the shop. This is our last one in town. Is this that shop lady that seemed kind of drunk? She's definitely haunted. Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're alright? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Are you alright? If you must know, sir, I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. It is a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsier than you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. She's hammered, bro. She's hammered, chat. Um, does it only happen in the sh Oh, that's when did it start? When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden out of nowhere and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. It is a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me, and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe, what's the matter? Oh, good day. What oh, can I well, do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm sorry. All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. The man's having when a panic attack? 
Let's look around. Are you sure you don't want a little pick me up? Hmm, nice abacus. Imagine trying to use one of those after a bottle of rot gut. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Hush now. Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. I feel like he panicked when I mentioned the ghost. A ghost was here, not long ago. Yeah, definitely a lot of spectral essence all over this damn place. This place is super haunted. The governor disliked Mistress Walcott's manner. What a surprise. She's the one that put the the dog shit in the in that those people's food. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? A feeble ghost, capable only of small mischief. So chess game score. They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or Phoebe's getting worse. For Constance? For Constance. Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work? Why would you name a painting before starting it? Uh, certified that Phoebe Walcott, resident of New Eden, is registered as a particular in the capital warehouse, constructible. So remember that warehouse that we, we, we were searching and I, I said I needed a key to get into the upper part of it? I wonder if this is that, that dock in that warehouse. Could... Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covenant Beach. The abandoned building we saw by the beach, maybe. Yep. The one that we found the note where Phoebe was gave the guy the, sh the shit and all that. I'm pretty sure that's her warehouse. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. Wait for me, sweetie. Mama will be there soon. This keeps saying that over and over again. Yo, was it her kid? Did she lose one of... Did she lose her kid? This is as sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past batters her. Damn, she really does put it down, doesn't she? Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. Wanna be some shit, man, if, uh... Like she lost her kid or something and she's just drinking herself to death and her kid knows that it's killing her and so the kid's trying to break all the drink so she'll stop drinking it to try to save her. Yo, that's, that's some fucking sad shit. I mean, it's probably not true, but that's a sad little story, man. Mike, what's going on? How you doing, man? The small law gets all I own. He deserves it. That's it. So if Phoebe dies, the small gets everything. I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but that's a generous will. 
Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost believes he's taken advantage. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Have you found your ghost? Tell me about yourself, that I might better understand who haunts you. Widow and proud. Town drunk and prouder. A fine chess player, even better when tipsy. That's about it. What can you tell me about your late husband? The truth is as boring as a sober day, I'm afraid. A happy couple we were until we were not. Strange, is it not? Now you marry a fine man and at the first small contrariety discover he's a dubious, unreliable coward. Could he be a mysterious ghost? Took less than a month for Solomon to abandon me. My caring husband became a brickle white livered chicken. He trooped off a hunting. Heard he died in New France spitting my name. If there's more, you'll have to find it out for yourself. Your Scottishness. Fair enough. No other family? No. I'm the child of dead parents and the parent of a dead child. The truth, as I say, is boring. So good, I'm tired, chat. How long have you been running the store in the Harrows? Years. Decades. Centuries. When I arrived, the farmers had no store. Folks were glad to have me. Even old Askell was pleased. Of course. I was a respectable widow at the time. Respectable merchants are a boon to New Eden, don't you know? What happened to the respectable bit? My husband and daughter push up daisies in the New World muck, Your Majesty. Respectability is a great steaming pile of all shite. How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? I'm sorry, I must insist. You, Your Majesty, are tugging at my berries now, and it vexes me. I'm here to protect you from the Mistress Walcott. Ishmael's condition may be important. Ishmael Law just needs a drink. He has a past, and because of it, when he gets the anxieties, he collapses. It's how he is, and he won't take his medics. Well, that's all right, because I can easily drink enough for two. Uh, Dave, I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed I'll be, I'll be, uh, I recorded another episode today. I'll be releasing probably tomorrow. Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor in your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? <sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. So Thank now you we can get the time. keys. <clears throat> I'll take no more of it for now. No matter. I've all the time in the world. So how do we get upstairs? Okay, here it is. Beware. Wards. Oh.
I'll keep that ward up. I don't no. <laughs> Fuck around, knock it down, and the ghost snaps Ishmael's shit. <laughs> Unless I need to. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? There's a beach by Phoebe Walcott's warehouse. Was Ishmael running his own business behind his drunk boss's back? Let me find out Ishmael's doing some shady shit, I guys. I can't worry. This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. Games of strategy, games of chance. I don't know, there's something off about Ishmael, chat. Why did Bennett Law not kill me instead of you? I tried my love, I tried so hard, but his men pinned me to the ground. I still can hear his drunken voice above the pain and rage after I hit him in the face. An eye for an eye, he claimed, so he, they took mine. When he strangled you, I could still smell the liquor on his breath, your hair on my face when he spat on me. We knew Bennett Law was a bad master. I should have found out a way to pay for our freedom back before it was too late to save us from this nightmare of indentured servitude. They were slaves. I've been a coward, and now I must pay for surviving you, must, my dear Bess, for not being able to punish your master. I'm a coward for not stopping poor Phoebe from drinking. For all my sake, I shall explain. A widow, drunk and inconsolable. And a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. Sorry, not this time. So we're gonna have to break this. <sighs> yep, there it is. Hidden from plain sight. There's a warehouse key. The ghost so tried to hide it. This ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Ishmael took a risk keeping this, especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that. What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one, a ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Hey, brother. Mr. Law? How can I help you, sir? Gonna be easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep. Enough for two. You had a, a fit of worry. Not the first, I gather. What scared you? You embarrass me, sir. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed, Mr. Law. But I do need the information if I'm to end this haunting. My fits, sir, being the work of no ghost, shall not be your business neither. He suffers in silence. Just like his friend. The villagers burned the governor's ghost wards. But you kept one in your room. Why? The wards were sent by God. Yes, I keep one in my lodgings. The better to be safe from evil. Since you deposed the governor, hear God's voice is little heard. The Almighty, it turns out, is easily deterred. 
God has forsaken Ishmael law, or so he thinks. A god may be easily deterred, sir. But I'm not. Then you had better get to work, for the good folk of the Harrows teeter on the brink. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse, the center of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. We're gonna find out something at the fucking warehouse, dude. We're gonna find out something, man. What am I playing Sons of the Forest? A lot of people keep asking that. We, we just played it, we just played it last night. Um, as you guys know, we do, uh, right now I'm on about an every other day rotation, here, give or take a day or so. Um, yeah, we just played it last night. Seems like you guys are really enjoying that Sons of the Forest playthrough. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, so these aren't... My house I built. <laughs> now I was happy with where we go. Uh, we, I mean, we got to figure out that door situation. That's going to suck. But How you doing today? Thank you so much for this super chat. Definitely having a great day today, man. Definitely having a great day.
Don't just stand there. Move. Seriously, Chip, thank Mr. you so much, Minard, man. I hope you are having a free Sunday, brother. That is a huge super chat, man. I really appreciate the love, dude. So we can't... Yeah, we had to go through the top, right? Unlock it through the top. So stay moved. It does. Look at that. You don't got to move it again. And we, we explored this place on our own. See, the good, that's the one thing I do like about um, games like this, because there's, there's some games out there that have a lot of map, right? And uh, Assassin's Creed, what was it? Origins. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, I had a little bit of an issue with when it comes to the map, because I have like a, I got like this thing where I need to explore, you know, all of the map. I, I want to check all the nooks and crannies. But it helps when the game has missions built into it that bring you to every part of the map. So, like, as long as you follow the missions, you're going to naturally explore every single part of the map anyways. Um, if you do side quests and things like that. But there are some games out there, like, if you don't go out of your way to explore that little area, you, the game's never going to bring you over there. And you just kind of miss out on it. And that's how Origins was. There was whole regions of that map that you just didn't even go into. Like, period. Like, you just didn't go into it, no matter what. So you had to just go there, explore. There wasn't any missions or anything. It was just, just exploration. Just, um, But I do like when the game, the story or side quests kind of bring you to every part of the map organically. It's definitely a good feeling. Right. Let's go find some answers. Words from the past linger here. Mm. We're gonna find out some dark shit, aren't we? I should have killed him. Killed that dog with my bare hands. <laughs> Best, my poor love, forgive me. Yo, Ishmael's got a lot of hate, man. Ishmael Law drinks just as much as Miss Wolcott, except he hides it. So, by spilling the liquor and hiding the key to the warehouse, the ghost may be trying to stop him drinking, not her. Is it his best? The unknown soldier that no Was that our ghost? Honestly, I can't see any of them from this angle. That's that's wicked. I made the corrupted heart. You aimed its roots. One there, one there. Think you could take on a ghost? I 
How the hell did we get that chest? That's weird. I gotta push something, don't I? Cart? Yep, this cart. So once we unlock these roots, we'll be able to push this cart over there and get that chest up top. That last one up top there, we, we don't have an angle on. It's going to be an interesting, so maybe I, maybe we have to go through here. We'll see if we can get an angle on it. So I think I can hit it from here. So now we can hop over and push this one down. Glenn asked if this game is worth a buy. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, um, I love this game. Uh, it's it's entered the realm of the probably the top 10 favorite games I've ever played in my life. It's definitely the best game I've played personally in the past year, um, if not longer. I, have, I haven't been this obsessed with a game uh, in a while. Like, I... I literally just think about playing this game all the time. It's so good. Okay, let's see what this is. That's a lot of drink. Absolutely, how much? An echo. Reunius fat aster himi. Bess, there was no God to mind you in this miserable life, and none to welcome you to the next. What is this place? Where am I? I'm so sorry, Bess. Ishmael? My husband? There is no heaven, and yet I shall go to hell. Stop torturing yourself. Yes? But how? Why? What have you become, Ishmael Lo? You must stop all of this. Live better. So that's our discreet ghost, Bess Law. Bess felt his struggle and came back to him after all these years. We need Bess's tie. That way we can make her manifest. That's crazy. Here, Red, the bag, there's an echo.
have to pull this down over this way so we can get up on the middle section here. Hey, Savage with the 16 months, man. Thank you so much, dude. I hope you're having a great day. Holy, uh, damn. So, because of what happened to his wife, he got his freedom. The original price of his freedom was a sum of 330 as waived as my law. He's a free man written under the watchful eye of Master Ashton. New England, February 4th. This tie is doused with essence of its ghost. Okay, so. Smells freedom. Written country. recognition of Ishmael's freedom after the mother of his wife, Bess. We found our tie. We have the tie. We can make best manifest. Bars. Why am I here? You must be wife to Ishmael Law. My name is Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Will you banish the ghost of Bess Law? Will it ease her pain? First things first. You're not after Phoebe Walcott, right? You're here for Ishmael. I don't know why I'm here. I just want the pain to stop. You've been breaking Phoebe Walcott's liquor bottles. Why? It was not me. It was Ishmael. He was dead drunk. Breaking bottles in this place. Not here in the warehouse, but in Phoebe Walcott's shop. You broke many of her bottles. Ishmael and I served a master who drank. He was a brute. He beat me. He killed me. He took Ishmael's eye. And now my husband is a drunkard. He comes here to soak his sorrows, to drown them in liquor, to draw me back against my will. Is that why you hid the key? I think so. I was angry. I was hollow. I spied on him. On her, too. I did what little I could to push the abyss away. You feel empty because you've lingered too long. All I know is I can stand the pain no more. Not theirs, nor mine. How did you end up here? We came from Marrakesh. We left in search of a better life. To pay our way, we signed a contract. Seven years in service to a bad man. The drunkard Bennett Law. Who, when drunk, was mean. Liquor turns men and women evil. I know it. I saw it. Now? Under the sway of a bad woman, my husband treads the same path. His sorrow has called me back. I remember the pain. I feel the pain so much. They must stop. I'll make them stop. Yeah, so that's a hell of, So it wasn't just... They weren't like normal... Like, like not normal slaves. They weren't like slaves... Um, they... they kind of signed a contract what is that what is that it's called what indentured servitude where like you you like oh i need to pay for this so i'll i'll sign a contract to be a quote unquote you know worker for this person or a slave for this person for x amount of years it's like join the fucking military dude <laughs> hey, join the military dude <laughs> they signed that military contract So, 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 chat, would, would, would joining the United States military under a contract count as indentured servitude? I feel like it's the same. 
It, it, it sounds the same to me. <laughs> You're dead a long time. Where were you when you were gone? I don't know. I was drifting. Away from the pain. Away from the terror of my death. The pain never left my thoughts. But no, I they signed. No more. And that was good. Now the pain is back. Now I am back. Now I feel Ishmael suffer too. It must stop. It all must stop. And I shall make it stop. No, yeah, they, 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 they signed because they wanted to start a new life. So in order to pay for their journey to come to America, they signed a contract. So, yeah, it's not like they were forced into it. There was a choice, but still fucked up either way. You're dead a long time, Bess. What brought you back now? My husband. His drunkenness roused my pain and brought me back to him. I was nowhere and nothing. And then, all of a sudden, the world appeared with me in it and I saw Ishmael desperate on the floor. That's so weird, man, how that can work like that. You know, they're just, they die, they're off in the, in the nothing, and then all of a sudden, like, people can pull them back against their will. Did his despair call you back? Is that why you stay? Maybe. I don't know. I heard Ishmael speak, and in his words there was pain. He spoke his name, the name of my killer. They brought me back. Ishmael and his pain, that woman and her poison, they must stop. They suffer. They didn't mean to bring you back. Their intentions matter not. Her madness is becoming his. I am trapped in their pain. I am trapped in their pain because of her sway over my husband and I want it all to stop. Mm, sounds like she's getting a little jealous. We'll take our leave. Expect to be invited to manifest again sometime soon. Don't resist the call. Ishmael and Phoebe will be there. Who? Your husband and his friend. Between us, we'll put an end to all of this. Be quick. I can barely hear my Ishmael now, above the rising, growing pain. Finally <laughs> unraveled this sad case. Aye. Sadness over pain, over outrage, over guilt. It's a sick dance, isn't it? Ishmael and Phoebe, the wine they were asked for a time. I remember. I, yeah, I don't. I thought the ghost was a daughter. I think her I'm daughter's familiar. just gone. Things are done. That war. The ghosts, those who died, haunted me. I had to choose. Drink myself to death or get rid of my ghosts. You chose well. I got lucky. I found you. And you saved me and Thea from my ghosts. And you saved me from myself. Yeah, at first I thought the mischief was coming from the daughter, but no, it was it was her trying to get her husband to stop being a damn drunk. This isn't over yet. Get low. 
boss, won't you? I think I heard the sound of a gun. I ain't. Yeah, indentured servitude and slavery, the, the, those two are definitely pretty... Uh, the line between them is very, very blurred because a lot of, like you said, a lot of the times when somebody takes somebody into a, an indentured servitude type of contract, they always find a way to extend it or never let them go. You know, the, oh, you didn't pay, oh, you did this, that's an extra five years, you know what I mean? I feel like they always find a way to, like, extend it or screw that person over because once you get used to having somebody around and you rely on that person to do shit, you know, let them go is not going to be easy. That's how that, a lot of movies and things where you see people that are in those contracts, there's always something that's done, you know, to try to make them permanently work for them or you know yeah, it's it's never cut and dry because yeah in a perfect world it's like hey you know i'll pay for you to do this this and this and this um you just work for me for four years help me around my farm and shit you know and if it was just that simple all right yeah cool me and my family go we get food we get shelter you know we help you around the farm for four years and then boom we're free yeah it's never that simple right <laughs> He busting cheeks in there? Yo, she mad because he's busting cheeks? Mr. McGrath, welcome no, he's, back. Okay, he's not. This smells not feeling well. Best leave him be. More trouble? He had another episode. Same as before. He's fine now. I gave him a drink, and this time, he took it. Ishmael has history with liquor. Should you be offering him drink? I'm the town drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Anyway, he's got a dry stick up his ass. It'll do him good to wet it. It is liquor. I suspect you may be overestimating its medicinal qualities. By dint of extensive experience, I am better placed to estimate the power of liquor than anyone. Side, he always turns it down. Shame, really. Nothing like a sip or two to soothe a troubled soul. Ishmael Law is haunted by the ghost of his wife. But even without her, this whole situation is a mess. Yeah, I mean, this is an easy one. Do we chat? You too, Bess. Come on. It's time to show yourself. Phoebe Walcott, this is Bess Law. Bess, you already know Phoebe. Bess? My love? How? I thought I was dreaming. You were really here? I was. I am now. And not for long, please. Oh, your best. The best. His best. Ishmael is fine, don't worry. Or, well, he will be soon. Ishmael has been drinking as much as you do. Liquor won't solve the problem here. Of course it won't. But we'll have some fun while we wait to not solve anything. You make him suffer, woman. And I cannot stand the pain. Talk not to me about pain, lady. You know nothing of my pain. Shut your mouth, Phoebe. You shoot yours, if you can take the bottle from it. Stop rattling each other's cages. It's time to bring this to a close. Yeah, I mean, Phoebe nor Ishmael. <laughs> Yo, if you guys are out here banishing or blaming either of these two, you are a straight up savage. Because neither of them deserve to die. 
but we'll kill him anyways. No, no, I'm just kidding. Seriously, like, this is the easy ascension. Easy ascension. Best Law, you have lingered between worlds for many years, unable to find the peace denied to you by your murder. Fueled by alcohol, Ishmael's guilt awakened your pain and brought you back. Then make it stop, all of you. I beg you. Because if you don't... I release you, Bess. I let you go. I'll change. I'll leave Phoebe if I must. You were a grand man once. My Ishmael. Find peace. And give me mine. You've suffered long enough. Go now. And go for good. Ascend. You may go. That's an easy choice, man. Two savages in the chat looking for any reason to kill somebody. So I want to hear it in the chat right now. Type, or if you're watching this afterwards, let me know in the comments or the chat who you who you would have killed. Go. Would you have killed Ishmael, Phoebe, you or would really you have leave me. ascended or will go. banished her? Let me know what Best would you have done. Right. We are not good for each other. Come on, let's go too. I'm sorry. No, forget it. I'll be all right alone. I should pack. I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> the sand killed Ishmael. Share why? Like, why would you kill Ishmael? So a lot of people would send, to send, to send. You guys are savages, dude. <laughs> no reason to kill that poor man. All right, so we got another uh, haunting here. This one's outside of town, so this might be a new character. My baby needed. So y'all killed him just to, just to resurrect. One of those guys still pissed at me. Whatever you want from me, I doubt I can help you. We're, I guarantee we're going to have a I mission from him soon. You, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Yeah, I feel like we're going to get a mission to spawn from that guy at some point. That's a good one too, yeah. That post period. Okay, let's see here. So yeah, this is a new area too we're going into. We haven't been in this area up here. There's a lot of game here, guys. There is a lot of game here to be played. They say 20 hours. I feel like 20 hours maybe if you just ride the, the main story. But if you're doing so side content, exploring the map, you have so much content in this scam game, game. I 
So I've already put way more than 20. I, I don't know. I, I think I put more than 20 hours in this already. I haven't even. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Guys, like, I put so much time into the game, like, just in this lower area, just doing all these side quests and stuff. I have, There's a whole northern region up here that we haven't even been to yet. Like, that's a main part of the main story. We haven't even been to that northern part yet. <laughs> there's so much to do in this game. All right, so I think we got to go this way, right? No, keep, keep on this. I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Um, I only see one. It's gotta be another one on the other side of the bridge somewhere. Yep, right there. No, I don't want fancy my own garden. Trust me, you don't want a garden. So we're in a new area here, the Haros. Who the fuck is this guy? Yes, yeah, somebody we've never seen before, I don't think. Hey partner, how you doing? Um, Trevor? Dear Lord, oh no. I need you now. Please send help. An unnecessary question, perhaps, but uh, is everything all right? <laughs> I'm not all right. There are demons in the mill. We've seen this guy this already. Hassel's fault. May his wretched soul rest in peace. His leniency brought the devil on us. Now witches will walk the land. But why are you still standing there gawking like a goose? Aren't you a banisher? I told you, there are demons. I, I... Tell me all about these demons and this mill. There is a mill. It is my mill in which I mill flour to bake my bread. In the mill, there are demons sent by the evil one. Oh, all right, all right. No need to be an arse about it. I'll look into it. The, the mill... Lies past the barren fields and across the bridge. Whatever you can do to help, I would be grateful. Will you be all right out here? Will any of us be all right now our governor's gone? Lucy Barrow is dead, and demons walk. God has forsaken us. I'll take that as a maybe. I'm sorry to learn the alewife has died. <laughs> oh, don't be. Damn, she... Are you close? Close? <laughs> yeah, we were close. Close enough to hate each other. And before you jump to any sodden banisher conclusions, her death was not my doing. And t'was I who found the body. I shall not miss her. If you will when the ale runs out. You really don't seem to hold her in your heart. The baker and the alewife both need barley. We made a bargain, spit in hand and shaken on, to share the crop. But she broke the deal, went her own way, cut me out. No, I did not like her. So the alehouse woman, the, the lady that was initially blamed for being a witch, um, is dead. So, yeah. I should go. As must I, to the hamlet, I think. God walk with you, Banisher. Uh, she wasn't the witch, so but somebody Demons still fucking dead alewife. Haunting cake. Is haunting case. Possession incoming. <laughs> Heads up.
Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. There it is. The ward's power is gone. Still impressive. Can't believe the L wife died, though, man. I wonder if. Does she? I wonder if she died no matter what, or if we would have kept the mayor alive if she would have stayed alive. I don't. I don't know, because that guy was bitching about the mayor being dead the whole time. So I don't know if the fact that we killed the mayor led to this, or if the game's not that open. They're feeding off their own rage. Uh, no most it's yo the rifle is nasty dude. it really is thank you for the super chat man I, I really really like the rifle a lot what is luck in here time to work banisher That leads back up toward the way we came initially. So that'll be our way out of here. We've got two POIs, three POIs. Okay, nice. Yo, this this region of the map is huge, man. There's so many places to explore. Watch out. Spectre position. Some demons. Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. Yeah, I'd really like to see them expand on this universe, more ghosts, like, because right now we're fighting a nightmare, so they could add, and the nightmares are no joke, like, there's, there's, uh, if you guys haven't caught the beginning of the game, there's, like, super powerful, like, legendary status ghosts, and a nightmare is one of them, and uh, the nightmare is what's causing all of this, one ghost, and I'm like, man, could you imagine, like, DLC where we have to face, like, other legendary type ghosts, like, that are on level with nightmare, because... 
that can't just be the only one like that. You know what I mean? So I couldn't even imagine. You know, there's so much lore, so much things they could really build on top of this game. Um, it, it, they, got, they got something really good going here, guys. Because you imagine like, having to fight like an actual demon. Like how powerful a demon could be. We have no grain, for which reason we have no flour, for which reason we have no bread. <laughs> Cause and effect. No bread? God will never mention that. Quite the botanist. Hey, no motion. What does a baker Dude. need with all these plants? Remember the olive bread with rosemary and sage. <laughs> I miss Rome. I miss bread. Thank you so much for the five gifted, man. And Talonvar, thank you for the five gifted, man. You guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate the love. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Again, everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the fam. Dear Perry, um, this is from uh, Mrs. Gibbs. Receive your letter concerning request for grains, but unfortunately we can we can only answer you in the negative. Our crops are also dried up. We have nothing left, but we are currently looking for a solution. I'll let you know if we have one. In the meantime, hang in there. Uh, you are the only talent. You are a talented baker, and this alewife wife won't stop you. Not a second time. Her beer may be life-saving, but it doesn't feed people. Soon they will clamoring for food and won't care about this witch's brew anymore. But they really went after it. Uh, if he killed her, chat, over over the of the grain, I'll kill him. Oh well. Cobwebs on empty barley bags. He ran out some time ago. Did you feel that? It's cl test for barley set corn expensive and the bread is too frailable. Friable. Cottage cheese and egg bread rolls convenient but not suitable for a whole community. Perhaps I could still keep it. Rye, difficult to grow, expensive, and unsatisfactory texture. Seems Koto was looking for a substitute for barley. And failing. Looks like Kotl hasn't been able to do his work for quite some time. Three are tall, large parental roots, strong stems, green rosy, large leaves, green sm bad smell, green white flower, thumb with fruits look like blackberry. What is this? Phyto Laka Dedra page, Decandra page. Each part can sicken, leaves in particular cook thoroughly. Uses, roots for respiratory ailments, um, cataplasms, ease soreness. It's toxic. Why would a ghost hide that? This looks like it was ripped from a herbarium. Fetolica dekindra. Pokeweed. It's poisonous. I doubt he used it. I hope I'm right. We should go back to the Harrows and talk to him. Let's see. Yeah, so we're not going to push that way until we're ready to go that way. We'll head back down. I will check this and then we'll, we'll hit the small cave here and this fast travel down. I want to see what this POI here is at least. So a baker is forced out of work. His business partner dies mysteriously. Sounds like and now the baker murder to is me. Haunted. How bizarre. Still, I feel for him. He'll be desperate. From his demeanor, I'd say it's too late. He's a lit fuse. I have another in sight.
Ooh, here we go. Elite, I think. An elite or a scourge. There's an angry specter somewhere nearby. Better summon it. No, oh, it's a scourge. From the shadows. Yeah, it's a scourge chat. Focus, Red. Present yourself! Look to me. Barely did any. The ace attack increases damage reset on being hit. Take on a ghost. Never mind. I'll do this myself. I was close, man. I was real close. I've gotten quite a few rifles in the game, Matt. This one I use, though, because it just does the mo. It's, well, that I maxed it out. But uh, it does 100% uh, more damage against people who have damage done to them. So it just. It does double damage if the person's injured, so it's just huge. So huge. No motion, dude. I feel Five so for the close. OP clutch. <laughs> that was cl it was close, man, for sure. We got it done, though, man. That's all that matters, right? Thank you again for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate it, man. No, yeah, I'm definitely not using Kate's rifle. I have uh, the opportunist. I don't know where. I don't remember where I got this one from.
Five dollars for the OP clutch. All right, we got a safe zone over here. Now we got a shortcut. But no, yeah, I've gotten my hands on ooh, a lot of gear, a lot of gear. Like I've, I've found, yeah, we've gotten four different rifles so far. Um, six different swords, you know, like six different outfits. Let's see what this guy's excuse is, because it does sound like murder to me, chat. Like, any 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 person that would look at this situation at first glance, you would think competitors in the barley field. Um, she screwed him over. Sounds like murder. Really, Lammy? You want me to defend you, bro? Like, I can't defend you when you're doing shit like this, bro. Mr. Carto, are you here? Only thing about video games, I could hop that fence with my fucking eyes closed, dude. So, how the hell did we get around this backside? I didn't think you would cut through this house. Yes? We should go. Be careful, Lammy. Please. I probably should. Really? That should teleported me inside, dude. This one? Nope. Oh, what the hell, chat? Oh.
picking up some. Anyone home? God damn. Like, well, what happened here? There was a robbery, or someone threw a tantrum. without bread. Eat a Lucy Brow's sanctuary, her owl house. A key hidden behind a spectral web. Yeah, so one of the ghosts, whoever the ghost is, is hiding shit. Lucy still makes beer while I can bake no bread. If she hoards barley, I cannot find it. What can be her secret? Bro, maybe she's using something else, dude. I've seen Lucy cutting weeds and buying fixings. Must learn more. Lucy suspects me of spying, or so I suspect. Yet she cuts weeds that have no place in the making of beer. Very suspicious. I gave Lucy an opportunity to share her secret. She thinks me mad. I think she's lying. I know she is. Despite the barley shortage, Lucy Barrow was brewing ale. Drove Perry mad. Sent him snooping after her. That, Mr. Cottle, is not the way. Now what else are you guilty of? Do not touch that, you filthy thief! Takes dedication to sleep where you work. Not of poverty. My mother treated a baker once. He had the worst cough I'd ever heard. Turns out inhaling flour all day isn't good for your lungs. Aye. Lucy's the fucking ghost, dude. Of course she is. Who killed you? You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Wait. The Banisher McRaith. Haunted by a ghost? You must be joking. Mistress Barrow. Glad to see you, circumstances notwithstanding. This is my partner, Antia Duarte. Yes, yes, pleasure to meet you, but never mind that. Perry Cottle stole the key to my alehouse. You have it. I want it back. Why would Perry Cottle have the key to your alehouse? He wishes to steal my business. So I hid it from him. There's nothing quite like watching a grown man soil his britches over losing a bloody key. Serves him right. The barley failed. No barley means no flour. No flour means no bread. It drove him mad. It made him mean. I don't easily scare, but he scared me. And I was right. In the end, he poisoned me. Seriously? That Trevor Phillips looking ass dude, man. There's no way. John, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. What's your relation to Perry Cottle? We traded. Pleasantries. Foodstuffs. He baked a fine loaf. Mostly we shared the barley crop. I worked with him. Now I hate him. When I offered him a fair deal, he threatened me. He omitted to mention this. Allow me a moment in which to come to terms with the news that the liar, Perry Cottle, Failed to tell the truth. Tell me about the poisoning. To start, let me tell you about the baker Perry Cottle, who is as mean as he is stupid. Mean, for he would not pay me for my work. Stupid, for he poisoned me before he could get his grubby hands on it. Are you sure he poisoned you? We had words. He threatened me. He carried out the threat. It seems cut and dried to me. You know how to brew ale without barley. 
We know this because Perry Cottle spied you doing it. For a great baker, he makes a piss-weak spy. Why not just tell him what the substitute was? You'd have your ale and he'd have his bread. My hard work rightly deserves payment. My demands were reasonable. I even offered to defer the bill. Everything I have, I earned with the sweat of my brow and the brains in my head, and neither man nor God shall take it from me. Perry Cottle thinks innovation, the fruit of my labor, comes from God to be shared by all but especially by Perry Cottle. I am a woman of enterprise, and no one drinks for free. No payment, no deal. You don't believe me? See for yourself. You have the key. Go to the alehouse where I died. Where is it? Go north, across the bridge, past the fallow fields. But do be careful. I hear it's haunted by the ghost of the poor dead alewife. Damn, dude. We should go. You should. Work to be done. Chop on. Looks like Perry Cottle left some details out of his story. Let's go to the alehouse. Let me see. So where is this? Okay, way up there. Way up top. Oh yeah, we could fast travel to our abandoned farm and just walk up. Actually... We'll go here, small cave, and I'll walk across because we'll be able to hit this uh, POI on our way over. I hope, at least. I hope I can get up this. Yeah. Let's go get a Fiji. Hold on one sec, guys. Had to get the, had to get my daughter some water. <clears throat> uh, Matt Hines, thank you so much. That is a huge super chat, brother. Catching up on your last stream, but wanted to show some love just for the fact that you put out the best content. You are always you and make all the gameplay ten times more enjoyable. I really appreciate that, brother. I really do, man. Hope you're having a great night tonight. And I'm, I'm really glad you're enjoying the content, man. So I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. So yeah, I want to hit the POI. Oh wait, no, this POI is in a different spot. It's not where I thought it was. We could have hit this earlier. Yeah, we'll go here and just cro come up this way. Catching up on your last stream, but wanted to show some love just for the fact that you put out the best content. You are always you, and it makes all the gameplay ten times more enjoyable. Seriously, man, that means a lot to me, brother.
bar ends. No way, dude. No way. Seriously, just dropped another 10 gifted, man. Guys, we've had like hundreds of new members over the past few days. It's absolutely mind blowing. I really appreciate all the love, guys. Holy crap. Welcome to the family. Whoever receives one of those memberships. Something has me. Wards. Edward, how you doing, man? Oh, where is this ward? Red, I hey. can't manifest anymore. Easy enough. Oh, it's one of those permanent buffs. This will uh, help us out. I think this one is health, right? Almost got my ass. Something's concealed. See, others think the same thing. You do an awesome job. I'm Tug with the super chat. How you doing tonight, man? I hope you had a good night. Always coming and showing the love, dude. I feel no, you're right, close. Doug. Like I said, best community in uh, like in the world right here, man. You guys are beyond amazing. See, I don't, I don't think I can get up on this way. Nope. Shortcut. Down. Can't get up, though. It's all good. Um, we'll have to head back over and then go up north this way. It is what it is. Mark, thank you so much for the six months, man. How you doing tonight? F Guru donated $10. Brother. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> there it is, man. The game I was the most wrong about ever, F. Gruden. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the love, as always, man. Hidden. The game I was the most wrong about. Not one of my favorite games of all time. Were any of you guys uh, in, in the same situation as me? You you heard all the bad about uh, Death Stranding, so you just didn't play it because you assumed it was garbage, and then you just walk, walked around parroting that it was a walking simulator, even though you never played it. 
Because that's what I did. I heard Death Stranding was a bad game. Uh, I heard it was a walking simulator. People were just telling me how boring it is and all you do is walk and this and this and that. And then I was just walking around parroting the same exact thing. Never played the game, never even seen gameplay on the game. And then I played it and absolutely loved the fucking game. Oh my god. It's so good. We're on the back side here. I don't know if there's a. Yeah, they're working on Death Stranding 2. I mm. I'm going to need a hand here. I still haven't seen. Ooh, we're fighting on our own. I feel something close. Words down. I always panic when we get hit by a ward and then I'm like, oh, I can't use my ghost abilities. But the thing is, is we're strong. So even without Antea, like we could fight um, on our own easily. But do you feel like your wings get clipped and it's a little nerve wracking? Picking up something spectral nearby. Name the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Let me see where. So we got one here. One there. New to checking in on this type. Been buried in my game. Always buried in Star Citizen. This is very enjoyable. Hey, Star Citizen's actually a game I'm, I got my eyes on. Uh, I heard there's a DLC, like Squadron something. It's supposed to add, like, story and shit to the game. Uh, I've never played Star Citizen, but I definitely was going to check it out when that DLC dropped. So I think it might just be two chat. Let's see. There's one more. Where the fuck is it? So there's that route there. Comes over and across. And there's this root here. Comes down and over here. I don't see another one. I don't see it. Yeah, exactly, Pat. Every game is a walking sim. <laughs> now, my Death Stranding became a zip line simulator. I don't see any other routes, guys. I'm trying to follow. So we got the one route that swings around, busts through the rock, comes out here. Right? You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. And there's this one that comes this way. Okay, comes out here. Oh, there it is. So no, no, this one goes that way. 
the other one comes across and now okay I was wrong that is why they pay me good money These fields look pretty good to me. I don't know what this is. Is that... Who the hell is that? Lucy's alehouse, I believe. A playground for the devil, according to some. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. I see one up top. I don't even see the base of it, though. When they arrive, there's no need to come back to pester me. Lucy was such a nice person, dude. So, what do we have here? So, there's the heart. The leafy vegetable after this kind of uh, palpitations, cold, water retention wounds, asthma, suffocation. A book of poisonous plants with a page torn out. Let me guess. The fight to luck at the Kandra page is missing. Swamp Rabbit, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. On the year 19, or 1690, the 15th day of July afternoon, Tavern and Widows, Prince of Lucy Barrow, to preserve the baby. Right. That's quite the sale. Good thing she had her husband's support. Unmarried alewives don't usually have it so easy. Juniper berries. Good for bloating, difficult digestion, or urinary infections. Tart, sweet. Doesn't this taste good? Honey, soft, sweet. Urbina, good for digestive disorder. Flowery taste, not good. Basil, basil tastes like taste and smell disappear during brewing, not good. Blueberry, soft, sweet, good. Strawberry, pleasant, fruity taste, but needs to be need to put a lot to be tasted to be reworked coffee if the coffee is not of good quality the beer can be so bitter that it becomes undrinkable to be reworked <coughs> man she was trying all types These of shit sure are inventive. she knows her trade 
I know brewers. And this one is talented. Coffee beer chat? All right, let's see what this is. Folk need bread. What do you use in place of the barley? Lucy. Mistress Barrow, please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Folk must have bread before they have ale. I offered you a fair deal. You're the one who turned it down. Then you leave me no choice. I'll have the secret. I'll not let them starve when there's bread to be had. You missed your chance. Now go away. Not Definitely the first time we've heard of this deal. Definitely sounded like a threat. It change the fact that Perry was furious at Lucy's refusal. Enough to kill. Seems unlikely. Keep looking. We're gonna break that back window. It'll give us access to the heart. So I see one. was hiding under that ivy. Lucy Barrow was quite the force of nature. As a widowed alewife amongst witch-hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Bunch of names of different... Herbs. Well thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. An alewife, fierce and educated. I bet folk were intimidated. And suspicious. We should search the mill. We'll have to stop it spinning first. Hmm, I'll look into that. Let me see, so what is down this way? Sort of peek in these little crevices real Picking quick. Some spectral nearby. I might be able to help with that. Does it move? Can't shoot the lock. Not from here anyway. I wonder if we gotta get up there and maybe shoot down through the roof or something. Try to simple things first, try to open the this door. door is locked.
You're in its sights, Red. Get lost, won't you? I can't see anything from here. Something here. Nope, that's just loot. Let's go. Now we can tell the end. Well, quite the operation Mistress Barrow is running. She really did know what the hell she was doing, didn't she? Governor, letter of appointment, esteemed Lady Bro, you are not only a very terrible event. The official alewife of the Haros. Ah, the governor in his genius given the title alewife to the alewife. <laughs> she must have loved that. This place reminds me of Mother Lawrence's over on Cheapside. And how the old alewife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend, and I needed one. I'm surprised Perry Cotto found no substitute for Barley. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. Who to contact? I would like to find an artist to paint my portrait or anything grand I want. I would like a face to be put on my legacy. Hmm. Get that. Get her face painted on a portrait, put it on all of her bottles of beer. Quite the collection. Well labeled too. Lucy Barrows is better organized than my mother. Finally found the perfect substitute for barley. Oats. Simply oats. So you can make beer out of oats? Well. Is there any oat beer now, chat? I know people use what hops? Never uh, oats. He turned red. How could he think that I would give him to him for free? My work, hard work is not any grain, really. He had like a coward behind my window. He wants to know what my secret ingredient is. He'll know when he pays me. This morning when I got my alehouse, I saw someone had tried to break in. I know it was the blessed baker again. He'll do anything to get my secret. It's like fucking plankton and SpongeBob trying to get the the Krabby Patty the Krabby Patty secret formula. 
I have to close all the windows when I work now. If I want to be safe, Perry is always there. I know he is. I can hear him. I can feel him. I feel him. I wake up in the middle of the night. Each time I hear a sound, I must admit I am afraid. Maybe I could set traps around my house and Perry would get his foot snapped like a vile fox he is. That would teach him a lesson. The Perry was definitely creeping, man. Lucy's ghost tie, her pestle and mortar, used crushed fixing the flavor of ale, has uh, seen recent use. This is our ghost tie, and a memory hangs on it. Wonder why Lucy had pokeweed on her workbench. A scale foga smile. Harry Cottle, is that you were creeping once again? You can die first before I give you anything. Rest run, Cottle. Have a stick and I'll not hesitate to use it. She took the fight to Laka instead of the Hobbs. Damn. A sad fate, and a stupid death. Afraid to lose her individuality, she lost everything instead. Without her secret ingredient, I still can't make bread. Wait, so she... So she accidentally poisoned herself, guys. In her panic? So she didn't kill him. Oh, look at that. It's the drunk or the jackpot. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. and those orders won't be fulfilled. Unless Perry takes over the brewing. Wouldn't be the first time an ale wife lost her business to a man. Perry Cottle, what are you doing in my house, you horrible little man? Dear Lord, what mark of the evil one is this? Lucy Barrow, but you're dead. I saw your body in the ale house. The dead return. And you are most surely a witch. Yes. <gasps> oh, this explains everything. Oh, for the love of God, just stop your nonsense and explain what the hell you were doing in my alehouse. I believe I'm the one who needs answers. Oh, God. Oh, the world is ending and the Lord must call us to him. What were you doing with porkweed, Lucy, if you knew it was poisonous? I am a herbalist and an alewife. I make things. I have all sorts of poisonous plants. I knew Perry was spying on me, so I led him to believe I was using common weeds in place of barley. I chose pokeweed because it helps women with their monthlies. Twisted and ingenious. I think I like you. 
Harry Cockle stole from me. He found out about the poisonous plant and killed me. He did find out about the poisonous plant, but she's the one that took it herself, right? Lucy Barrow, under the pretext of a demand for fair payment, you hoarded a valuable recipe. That's right. You'd have starved us for the sake of your business. You denied the children of God their daily bread. For business, Lucy, for business. Our Lord God called you to give service to his flock, and you demanded payment? Let her speak, Mr. Cotto. If the Lord wished the fruits of my labor, then he should have paid me like anyone else. I worked hard for where I am today. I deserve to succeed. I worked my ass off for it, and you would have me give it away. Not a chance. Go on then, Mr. Cottle. What were you doing in the alehouse when you found Lucy dead? I'd not seen her in a moment. I was checking she was well. You base strain hardy elf. You'll not have what's mine. You were checking to make sure I was dead. I was doing no such thing. But you were, Mr. Cotto. You spent weeks harassing Lucy here for her recipe. You harangued her so much that in a moment of stress, she made a mistake and accidentally poisoned herself. For that, you are responsible. Time to set the top on the right bottle, Cottle, you dundering harasser. You windling failure, you sneaking thief. I... No, I... I, I, I never meant to... I, I am none of those things. She had it coming. Devil worshipper, witch, selfish woman. To work then. Let's do this so it's done. Like, it's her fault. Like, honestly, like, she, it's her fucking fault, dude. You know what I mean? She, now granted, like, he didn't still that, like, bit of fear into her, but she still, he didn't kill her. You know what I mean, Chad? Like, She's just been... It's not his fault, Chad. No, I mean, we can't blame him. We, we can't blame him. I mean, I would just ascend her. But she's so rotten, dude. She's so rotten. But wasn't she gonna kill him? It just seems like an accidental death chat. Nah, I feel like, I feel like, we'll, we'll, we can ascend her. We can give her mercy chat. We'll spare her. We'll spare her. I, there's no reason to send her to hell chat. Like, come on. No, there's no getting soft. I, I I banish those who need to die. You know what I mean? I I take it all into consideration. There's, there's really, really no. I mean, I didn't think about that, chat. She would have let that whole entire town starve just to make a buck.
She would have let everybody starve to death. Just to make a buck. Yeah. Sorry. Lucy Barrow, you haunt the baker Perry Cottle, blaming him for your accidental poisoning. That must end. It was no accident. He poisoned me. He killed me. No, he didn't. But it matters not. It's over. You're convinced you're right and nothing will change your mind. Soon you'll become dangerous for the living. Sorry. Time to go. There is nothing for you. secret ingredient, I still can't make bread. Doesn't get easier, chat. I thank you, sir, but I require no you're welcome. Can't we just say, bro, the, the replacement was wheat, or, uh, Oats. Mr. Cottle must come to terms with his mistake. Mr. Cottle will have to decide what kind of man he is. So we got a POI here. Oh, look at that. So we got two missions that popped up in town. We have this haunting that's way, way over here. So I guess we could make our way up a little bit. We haven't explored this area at all. Try to get some like elite gems and shit like that so we can do some upgrades. I got a ton of witch stones, but Ooh, sounds like there might be something to summon up here. Oh, here we go. Asking you shall receive. I think this is an elite. Got it. Some 
Nothing's concealed. Now this one is pretty far out of the way, so I don't know who the hell this one's going to be for. Oh, look at the dead lady. Yeah, I have no clue who the hell this one's going to be for. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. There's a third one. I don't know what those soul shards are for. We haven't had one crafting recipe that's required them that I've seen. Yeah, see, I can... I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with those. I have so many of them. I got 44 of them and haven't been able to do anything with them. Does anybody know what you use those for? Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. See a ward hanging in a tree or anything. Beware, wards. There it is. There you are. Here I am. That's what I'm saying. So, in, in what part of the game? Because I haven't, I haven't seen any crafting recipes that use them. I bet you can't cook. If I could sell them, I mean, that'd be, that'd make a lot of sense if I could sell them for witch stones.
think you can fend for yourself? At least it's all fogged out. So this is one of those fogged out areas over there. So we actually can't get over here from this way. I think we got to go this southern route here. Because yeah, this is a whole separate area up top here. But yeah, there's no getting to this haunting from up here. Red, I can't manifest anymore. I'm with you once more. Do I feel like the game is too easy? No, not at all. I feel like you still got to uh, combo properly. Uh, you just got to make sure you're using the proper weaknesses. Like certain enemy types are weak to certain things. So as long as you're doing that the right way. Yeah, you spec your character a certain way to do a whole lot of damage, and then you start doing a whole lot of damage. There is difficulty. I think you, I can, you can turn it on even like a higher difficulty I'm playing it on right now. But I'm pretty sure all that's going to do is make the enemy super tanky and make you squishier. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of that superficial difficulty like that. It doesn't make the game harder. It just makes things take longer. And then it makes you feel like a noodle. And I don't mind feeling strong, you know what I mean? We, we sat there, we built our character out to be strong specifically. And then to just nerf that for the sake of dragging out a fight doesn't make any sense. Ariza, thank you so much for the super chat. Soul shards are also used for relic ranks upgrades. Relic rank upgrades? I haven't seen any. Larissa, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. And Fred, how you doing tonight, man? Hi, it's good to see you. 
<laughs> Super woke, dude. The wokest. I appreciate you, man. I hope you're having a good day, brother. Thank you for the super chat, man. Spectre heading for that course. Like these guys here, they barely take any damage from red when they're in uh, that form, so switch over to her. She does mad damage. Super woke, dude. Just trolling, bro. Love your stuff. I see my relic items when I what I'm saying is uh, Rizzo when I upgraded those to relic I didn't recall them costing soul shards. I also wasn't really paying attention. I just had the Ability to craft it so I didn't know exactly what it was, but oh here we go finally another way into the un uh, The void we haven't had one of these in a while Looks like there even might be another one over here Yeah, we haven't been to the void in a bit Ready to walk through it if you are. Fred, with another super chat, man. This is my favorite game since Red Dead Redemption 2 and Witcher 3. Dude, it is phenomenal, brother. It is phenomenal. All right, let's go. We haven't been into the void in a while. Entea does more damage in the void here. She did no damage. What are these guys? This is my favorite game since RDR2 and Witcher 3. Love it. More perfect switch post parry, okay. Terex, thank you so much for the two months. The time with it. <laughs> How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Really.
get back up. That was fast, bro. Pay attention. Yo, it's so hard to read his attacks. Standing by. Pay attention. Quicken yourself. I'm right here. I can help. It's healing too. That thing's attack was hard as fuck to read, man. Yeah, Antea's worthless in this one. Did we miss a few? Ready and waiting. Almost there. 
back up. It's certainly going well. Almost had him that time, dude. Almost had him. Yeah, it, it... His attacks were a bit hard to read, but I think I got it. It's not that damn hard. Yeah, this one's all about just nailing that parry. dodge attacks. Yeah, I died in the other show. I was getting my ass kicked in the, uh, there was a nest that I couldn't beat. The nest actually had the same rules as this place. ridiculous man see to get back 1v1 I was trying to rely real heavily right there on the dodge damage, but it's super inconsistent on that faster guy. Thank you. 
take on a ghost. Ridiculous. All I tried to do was heal, chat. Literally, I just tried to heal and got shredded. It's all good. We won't push the envelope too hard. We won't push it. It is what it is. We'll, we'll come back. We'll get it cleared, guys. We'll get it cleared. This is actually an endless void breach, too. We have another one over here. that way go no worries is this unmarked no that's the way we gotta go cool abandoned ghost wards protected there was a lot of words here surely looks functional I can't worry. The 
Lord's power is gone. Heart, so there's what four? No, three. One, two, and then the third one's oh, damn. Notice five here, or is there a whole nother heart? I think there's two of them. Who there corrupted weeds? I miss? Oh, you stupid bitch. No, that one's stupid hard. I'm, I gotta be. St I gotta stand somewhere else. There's no way. I take the heart. You take the roots. First thing, let me be reloaded before we start this. Can that cart? Oh, move the cart. That's fucking genius. What is like, luck in here? Time to work, Vanisher. It's like there's no way, dude. Genius, Chad, genius. So I'm like, yo, this shit is no, there's no way, dude. It's so fast, especially once I realized it was the fourth one. <laughs> Fred with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. There's only one thing that could make this game better. A good game. Yo, Gwent. Ah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of Gwent, man. It's my favorite. There is only one thing that could make this game better. A good game of Gwent. So all that to get some fucking linen? Let's 
see, one up there, one right there. And the third one is... Can you find a way around the locked door? It's in there. I love me some Gwent, Something's guys. Nearby. Where is it? I love me some Gwent. I wish they had a Gwent game in IRL, like like a legit Gwent trading card game. That should be so fire. Let's see, is there a way up around this way? Yep, here we go. There's another part over here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because I, I couldn't... Hmm. It's still US, I think. Yeah, I'm about to price it. So I still think it's still considered domestic. Okay. Yeah, so it won't be too bad. Cause I got the f it's all flat rate. Yeah, so as long as it's flat rate and is it does that count though for flat rate? Domestic? Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're good then. Huh? Yeah. They have IRL Gwent cards? BS, man. I've never seen them. Where? So we got one, two right there, and the third one is... past there. I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Will this stay open? No. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this from inside here. How, chat? How? We would have to get rid of this branch first. But we can't get rid of this. There's. What? Why is this puzzle in my, my little, tiny little brain? Look up? Was there a blue heart inside here? Because that looked like it was going to the other side. Yeah, so I can see one, two, and where was the third one for this? Is it right here? Three, okay, I, I can't see all three, okay. Never mind, we're good. That was way too fast. Oh, 
Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy you. Come on, there it is. Let's hope huh? let's see if we get paid. Oh. Uh. Oh shit. I didn't know that the Gwent cards were real. So this one goes up and over and is right there. Okay, so one, two. Seriously? Come on, dude. Got it. That was close. Use the practice. Supposed to be relaxing. I can't manifest any more. I'm at your side again. Blow that out of the way. Ah, oh, shy. Ivy. What did you expect? It's another ward. I take the heart, you take the roots. Man, there's so much ivy in this damn place, dude. It's crazy. Is it I bet you can't cook. You're on your own. The ward's power is gone. I can now break the branch.
was worth the effort. Where's your sense of adventure? All right, let's go check. I want to check and see if there was anything up on this side real quick. Ted, you have a great night, all right? Yeah, nothing on this side. Oh, there's a chest. Gear chest. All that, man. You watch it be something I'm not even gonna want to wear. That was fun. Oh, so you do like? Hmm. So we got a new ring. What does it do? Manifest consumes five percent of the current health points, but deals increased damage. Outburst does fifty percent more damage. Ensnare a hundred percent more damage. And leap two hundred percent more damage. At the expense of 5% of my health. Now I could rock this, right? And then I think there is a skill. When you get a kill with... Um, the ghost lady, you gain health. Defeat an enemy uh, with a minimum state resource. Yeah, you're right here. Yep. Gain 7% more health. So we'll be able to heal back 7% health, but we'll lose 5% health. You know what I mean? Gardening. Oh, oh can I get enough? <laughs> Good. Because I'm sure there'll be more of it. So we'll be able to replace the health. Because we're going to be, like, say the leap does 200% more damage, we should be able to just one shot shit with that. So the 5% health we'll spend to use it, boom, we'll get 7% back. Hopefully, I hope that's how it works. We'll see. But 200% more damage is freaking, that's monstrous. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's a lot of synergies in this that if you, if you figure out, you could be you could be sitting pretty nice. Oh, this is the way, right? Yep. So we got this bridge here. It's a whole new area we just opened up. Finally, look at this. Oh shit, so can we connect to the dark woods here? I think we can. We got a safe uh, area here, a shelter that we can get active.
was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Shortcut here. Oh, I've already been up this way. I didn't. I just didn't push because I was like, oh, I want to go the other way before we come this way. Yeah, that chest is in that house, not over here. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. I am gonna have to go back to the witch, try to get myself some more uh, elite gems. I wanna, I wanna get my freaking uh, main outfit here upgraded, but. Yo, this, like, this one is pretty good. The only problem is I just don't like the way it looks. I don't know why, it just... It's not awful, I'm just not... I don't know. It's too, like, bathrobe-y. I don't know, I... What do you guys think? Do you guys think it looks as bad as I... Or am I just tripping? I mean, I think the glowing effects on it are really, really cool. But... It, I don't know. It's It's got a really good trait on it. Like, really, really good. I, I just couldn't get past the way it looked. I was like, no, I wish you could transmog. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just something about it just feels off. And it sucks, though, because it's, it, it's really, like I said, it's the, got the best freaking, uh, skill, or, like, skill out of all of them. But I've just been wearing this one because it's decent skill and it's, I don't know, we'll have to see. But all right, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Um, I won't be doing Sons of the Forest. No, no, that'll be probably tomorrow or the day after. Tomorrow I'll be giving, uh, I'll be trying to release that State of K episode early in the day. And then um, I got to figure out what's going on because I, I might have to do something in the early afternoon. So I'm kind of holding on to that State of K episode to kind of see uh, how tomorrow goes. But um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. This is going to be the only stream tonight because I started obviously so late. But um this will be the only stream for tonight. I do appreciate you guys again for coming and hanging out. As you guys know, this is this game is, is so good in my opinion. I've been having just so much fun playing it. And uh it seems like a lot of you guys have been having a lot of good time watching it. We haven't even done another main quest in like a lot of hours yet. We've just been playing, uh, doing all these side quests. And as you can see, like I'm trying to like complete the map 
like not like you know all the like hauntings and activities as they go because like as the game progresses more hauntings and more activities come available at like depending on like decisions you made so that's why i'm trying to like do them in order like we still have two cases up here that we have not done yet because you know we got kind of sucked up down here so we and we out we have two activities that just went live here too so if anything maybe we'll head back we'll knock out these two activities first thing um clean up some of the stuff up here and then we'll come back down and, and go from there because yeah we got this haunting here that i totally want to knock out we got some pois that we're gonna hit on our way over to it but as you guys can see, we got the whole Harrow's pretty much uh, unlocked. Dark Woods, we got a little more up here into the top that we got to get into. And then, uh, you know, this northern part of the map that we haven't even touched at all. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then not even that, Chad. Then we got to make our way over here to New Eden Town and, and handle the nightmare. So... We still got a lot, guys. We still got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are. Uh, remember, if you guys are enjoying this, hey, just drop a comment down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe. All that stuff. It really, really helps out. No motions. Thank you. At the end of the stream, drops yet again another five gifted men. I really appreciate that, brother. All right. But I love you guys. You all have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.